Tetra, why you no know post Call of Duty videos anymore? <laughs> I swear that's like every the title of every other video that I see in my sub box these days. And I can tell you why some of you why some of your favorite commentators are no longer posting Call of Duty. They are no longer playing it. It's as simple as that. Commentators usually post videos of games that they're playing. And I think this community as of right now is just completely burnt out on Call of Duty and Black Ops especially. But um, but this is a Call of Duty gameplay slash commentary. Uh, this and I am Tetra Ninja, also known as Nick. Uh, you can call me either or. The only thing I say is that if you do decide to call me Nick, uh, just drop the K. It's N-I-C, no K. Too cool for the K. But, uh, uh, anyways, this is a search and destroy game on Summit using the Spaz 12 silencer. Pretty beast. You probably saw the setup flash at the very beginning of the game. And this team that I assembled is part a team that I got off Twitter, as well as some familiar faces that you may or may not recognize depending on uh, how active you are in the YouTube community or how long you've been following this channel. Uh, any of you guys who are fans of Let's Plays and like watching Let's Plays probably know who the Rab Rat is. A uh, good friend of mine. Um, uh, has a pretty well established channel, but he kind of—I think he rage quits like halfway through this game. Uh, really, no reason to explain why he rage quit. We all know why he rage quit <laughs> in a game. But love to him, and as well, my buddy X Rags, uh, may who you may not remember, uh, he used to have a channel, but he shut it down uh, once he went off to school, which is understandable uh, because. Uh, YouTube, the YouTube thing, especially if you're posting videos consistently, is a time sink. And if you have more important, if you feel like you have more important things to do, uh, it's probably the first thing that's go going to go in your life. Uh, but I personally enjoy it uh, a lot. And this is the only time you will ever see me use an RC car when I get it out of a care package. <laughs> Because I hate them so, so very much. They're the number one kill streak I've died to. But, <laughs> anyways, um, he sh so he shut down his channel. Uh, he no, lo no longer has one, but we're still friends. Uh, we still t chat once in a while on Skype. But, um, off to the main topic of this video. Uh, the main topic of this video is more geared towards uh, my Let's Play fans, especially my Metal Gear Solid. Uh, fans, uh, a lot of you guys know I am a Metal Gear Solid fanatic. I'm a huge fan of the series. I've done a Metal Gear Solid 4 Big Boss Emblem run where I showed you guys how to get through that game without any kills, without any deaths, without using health items or spe special items, all within under five mi five hours. As well, I also did a Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes playthrough. A lot of you guys, uh, well. It was kind of mixed feelings on that playthrough. A lot of people wanted me to play the original rather than playing the HD remake for the GameCube uh, just because they didn't appreciate all the Matrix type cutscenes and all the jumping and flipping around. But it was still Metal Gear Solid uh, not many people have done it so I decided to do it for you guys to watch. And I thought it was pretty fun to do uh, and it was pretty fun for and also it was fairly successful uh, just for all the Metal Gear Solid fans. But uh, back to the main topic. Um, so. Originally, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was actually a Metal Gear Solid Remake trilogy coming out, which would include HD remakes of Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater, which were PlayStation 2 games, awesome games that is, as well as a PlayStation 3 version of Peace Walker. So HD versions of all three of those games for PS3, and they originally were supposed to come out on November 28th. But uh, what had happened is I just got the news that uh, the release date has been pushed up and pushed up by almost an entire month and now it's being released on November 8th and you just gotta think about that for a second there's always one game a year that's always released November 8th think about it think about it think about it yeah that's right <laughs> the people at Konami have decided to push it to the same date as the Modern Warfare 3 release date <laughs> which is a pretty bold move uh, it actually works out pretty well for me because I wanted to pick up pick it up uh, at midnight and there aren't many midnight releases uh, where I live but there would definitely be one for Modern Warfare 3 so I'm thinking if I go to the Modern Warfare 3 release date then at the same time I can probably pick up Snake Eater while I'm in there but, or not Snake Eater, the, the Metal Gear Trilogy while I'm in there. But, uh, that comes to the question of what am I going to be playing the most. 
because <laughs> you guys know I'm I'm a diehard Metal Gear Solid fan, and everyone, you, what's gonna happen November eighth and 9th, you, People are just gonna be pumping out those those Modern Warfare three videos, and I don't know if I can just keep up to a video a, a day like a lot of people are gonna be posting. Like I'll be posting Modern Warfare three videos, but I'm also gonna be playing uh, Metal, the Metal Gear Solid trilogy, and just because I'm just a, such a diehard fan. And on that note, I will, just putting it out there now, before you start typing in the comment boxes, I will be doing a Let's Play and Walkthrough of those games. I'm going to be doing it, uh, first off, I guarantee I'll be doing a live walkthrough where, sh where I'm showing you guys everything. And then I'm probably going to go back and do a quick boss emblem run or big boss emblem run or salt snake run, whatever they call it for each respective game. It was called the boss emblem run in Metal Gear Solid 3, but... I don't know what they'll call it in Metal Gear Solid 2, in the remakes that is. So what what happened is, okay, here's the thing. Japanese developers are extremely, extremely anal about their copyrights and their cutscenes. And the moment a game gets released, uh, you pro like, for example, a lot of you guys know my experiences with Square Enix and the release of Final Fantasy XIII. I actually almost lost my channel because of a copyright strike from them. It took a while to take down and then my channel was gimped for a long time with a lot of the partner options being disabled. But those eventually get sorted out. But the main problem lies with the cutscenes. And I don't, know you, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but XCal lost his original channel because he did a Metal Gear Solid 4 uh, walkthrough. And they claim copyright strike on him for his cutscenes. And this guy back here is just being a douchebag. He's literally sitting in spawn waiting for... Uh, he's just sitting in a corner basically trying to wait for us to find him. And I die a very bullshit death because I... You'll see, you'll see. And then I get shitted on again from a guy laying down in the snow, but whatever. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, Xcal actually lost his original channel because he posted Metal Gear Solid 4 footage. So here's the deal. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to create a test channel. At this <laughs> times like this, I really wish I kept Tetra Ninja Gaming uh, just because <laughs> it would have made life a lot easier in the long run, but I already closed it. So I'm probably going to create another channel. Uh, depending from what I hear from Machinima, uh, if they have any extra information of uh, regarding uh, what's going to go on with copyright strike for that for the Metal Gear collection, but uh, worst comes to worst, I'll create another channel uh, for just Metal Gear Solid gameplay, so I don't have that won't be affiliated with Machinima in any sense. I won't be ma I won't be I won't be making any uh, money off those videos. I can tell you, uh, just because it won't be partnered. But I just love the game so much that I want to bring you guys footage from it. And I'll probably just, if I can't post on my channel, I'll just post it there, full game. And if the videos get taken down, they get taken down. If the channel gets flagged, they get flagged. Uh, no harm to me. And I'll probably just be posting the game on my channel without the cutscenes. I know it sucks, but that's just what happens when you deal with uh, Japanese developers as well as a new release game. You really can't deal with, you can't really help it. So yeah, final thing, to sum up, I will be doing Metal Gear. It will come in some form. Uh, I will be doing it launch day so same day as Modern Warfare 3 release I still will be doing Modern Warfare 3 videos um, but I won't probably be pumping them out as quick as a lot of your other favorite commentators just because it's Metal Gear I just love Metal Gear so much and the videos I do pump out will probably be very high quality videos with a lot of editing, graphic overlays and all that kind of stuff, weapon face-offs, map breakdowns. I think you guys would rather see one really well edited video rather than 10 shitty normal videos that you can see from anyone else on the YouTube scene. And that's really the case. Um, if I, In my opinion, now, unless you get a shout out or you really know some well-connected people, um, if you're going to be posting Call of Duty videos, you got to do something that stands out. And the very few Call of Duty, oh, I'm not going to say few, but the limited Call of Duty videos I will be doing at the release just because of Metal Gear, they will be high quality videos for you guys to watch. So when you see them in your sub box, you know that there will be something special about them. And you can just enjoy, take it all in, and enjoy all the stuff that, uh, all the other stuff I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I actually posted 
on my channel, there's a list of games that I plan to do Let's Plays and Walkthroughs for. On the left hand side, it gives you the dates where those games will come out and uh, if I plan to do them or not. As well, I did like I put like a series playlist of all the past stuff and the current stuff I'm working on. So there's like quick links to the playlist for those uh, videos if you're all interested of watching something else in Call of Duty. And uh, yeah, um, the channel has really, really taken a direction as of late. And look at this guy. This is how I died. But uh, here, watch it again. I died there, but I got my revenge because he luckily he trips over my claymore, <laughs> and we win the game. But uh, a lot of you guys, the channel is taking a new direction. I still will be posting Modern Warfare 3. I still prob I will be playing Battlefield 3 on PC, and uh, you can look forward to a whole bunch of other content and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, thank you guys as always for your support for th with the channel, uh, all the times you guys like the videos and all that kind of stuff, and thank you for like I said your continual support. And I will see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.